Anyways. Today we're going to share with you an app that you can use to build your own dream home and you don't have to be like an ID or professional and whatnot. You can just be people like us waiting for uh, your BTO or you already have a resale, you've done your reno and you're just thinking of you know what you want to reno in the next like 5 years, 10 years. A goal for yourself because as we uh, live in our home for like 1 year plus already, right? we realise oh we wanted to create a house that is very like easy for us to live in and also very comfortable and all this but there are a lot of things that we overlook so we are still you know constantly looking for ways to improve our home and to make it more comfortable for us to make our perfect home so i think it's uh, an ongoing process like you'll always find things that you want to improve and work on so i think an app like this will be really helpful for all of us for those uh, who have met your id before you know that they always like um come up with a 2d 3d layout for you and show you like oh, how your house look like after renovation and stuff like that so we try and google and uh, try and find like what app do they use to, to, to do something like that is it very difficult to make something like that so we stumbled upon this app called planner 5d planner 5d in the app store mm -hmm. and then we download and we try so it's like a you know you know sims simulator yeah. and then uh, you can just refer to your house layout mm. and then build the wall and then after that, uh, you can start to segregate rooms and then you can start to choose furniture, window, door to recreate, um, for us uh, to recreate like what we want our house to be mm. in a few years time and then for those who are waiting for a BTO, you all can start to plan like oh, how I want my house to be, this room is for what and then living room, where should I move my TV where should I put my sofa and stuff like that and then uh, yeah, like, because you got 5 years to wait for your house can slowly plan like this mm. and the best part is um, when you draw the wall right it's all to scale so for example um, our bedroom is around 8.5 meter uh, long so you can actually put 8 to 5 meter to scale and then you can slowly put your bed and everything but the furniture and stuff like that you need to aga aga a bit lah. Mm. Actually, there's measurements. You can resize the bed to like wider or like narrower if you want or so. I think a lot of people might think like, okay, I'm going to be paying an ID to design my home anyway. Why should I do it myself first before I even meet an ID? Um, one, maybe you're waiting for your BTO, right? It's like three years or five years. It's a long wait and you probably won't go and meet an ID and confirm anything yet. But you're already really excited about your house when you first get the floor plan. Ma. So you have all the measurements. You can feel free to like play around which walls can hack, which walls cannot hack, where you want to you know, put the furniture and the workflow of the kitchen and also you'll be meeting an ID, right? And you can tell them, okay, I want this, this, this but the end result that they give you might not be like exactly what you want mm. so there will be a lot of back and fro going on it's like going to a, a expensive restaurant and the chef is like a very talented chef but your personal preference is you like very spicy food, example so the chef may cook a very good dish for you but you prefer it super spicy but you didn't convey to the chef that you want a super spicy food which is why you should tell them first okay i like super spicy food do this for me so that is like how you design a very rough uh, draft on this app la. and then after that you show your id say oh this is just something that we did up and then after you pass your draft to them then with their professional expertise they can make it even better la. so i think that will really narrow the gap between like what you want and you know what the id can achieve for you after playing around with the app for quite some time right um so we realized that, ah yeah, we should have did this before that, ah yeah, we should have done that before that. When we did our reno, what we did was, I think, very roughly sketch on a piece of paper. Okay, I want the kitchen to be here, I kind of want the bed to be here, I want the divider over here like this. So maybe we didn't consider all the options that were available. Like only recently we realized, oh, the HDB uh, window frame can actually change to black color. But we didn't know there was such a thing at all. We just, okay, I need to change the window to a new window. That's it. Yeah, so through the app, you can see a lot of different, you know, sliding doors, uh, bifold doors, even the types of beds or even the kitchen sets available. So it's very, very interesting. It's like walking through <laughs> a virtual hockey or like, or like wherever you buy all these appliances from. Uh. First, when you try and play around with the app, um, I think it will take quite some time for you to get used to it but after that, it's very easy really. So, the first living room that Rachel designed, right? It looks very, very, very <laughs> ugly. Then she said, oh, this is my, my, my new living room. I look at her like, I don't want to stay in this living room if you design it like this. <laughs> yeah, but it's really fun because like after you draw the rough template with the measurements of your house, right? you just save that as a draft first so you can duplicate a lot and then just play around with different kind of styles mm. like some industrial, some black and white some, I don't know, just very crazy colours, like art museum, that kind. Yeah, anyway, it's free. There's like no budget to the <laughs> renovation. So we'll show you how, how to play around with the app. 
and then uh, how we redesign our, redesign our like house. toilet and also the kitchen area and we wanted to like extend a bit of catio you know dreaming is free okay. this is my cat uh, catio area okay guys this is what Rachel did yeah because previously it was Sean's man cave so if we were to renovate again I want to pull it out and then uh, give the cats more space and then get rid of Sean's man cave entirely. Okay, I'll show you. And because they don't have like options for scratch poles, so I used um, like this cupboard that has like steps and then also this honeycomb looking one, which I feel is quite cool. Uh. What is that piece of thing? What? The black in between? Uh, I think it's to put books on. Oh. Oh, okay, well, I don't need those. And then this is a little cat. sliding door uh, for the toilet, but we haven't finished that yet. Uh -huh. So, um, Rachel designed this area plus the kitchen area. Yeah, okay, walk into the kitchen. Okay, Show okay. the kitchen. So, we have like a bifold door, and then when you walk in, oh my god, look, okay. Currently, our kitchen only has like this uh, cabinets on one side, mm. but I designed it such that, you know, I have cabinets on the other side as well. And some like quite artistic looking shelf at the top lah. Where? Do you think it's nice then? Isn't that artistic looking? To put my plates uh, and then like the cups and everything. Mm. Let it so more space to eh. prepare stuff la. Yeah, and they got the baking tools, it's so cute. In this model that I made, I shrink the length of the kitchen and then split to both sides. Because currently our kitchen is very long, only on one side and that's why Sean's man cave is so short. Yeah, so if I could do it all over again, I would actually shorten it mm. yeah true okay so uh i was very impressed like you see the the hood right it's what we is that called the hood yeah it's like what we have all oh. chimney hood yeah yep. chimney hood okay so um a bit this is the living room yeah this is our living room and okay i zoom out for you all to see oh my god is the is the exact measurement this layout is, of our <laughs> house yeah so i follow the floor plan and then we design the whole thing like that okay uh you can actually design it using a uh, 2d first yeah, this is how it looks like uh, 2D. So this is the 3D. And then uh, just now I think you know did you click, it Yeah, you click over here. Okay, because I couldn't decide like which uh kitchen set that I wanted. So I just press everything and then just chuck it outside the house. Yeah, so and I was like, oh my god, this one looks nice, this one looks nice. So if you look at this, oh you got another kitchen set here. So Yeah, you can really like rotate and just look at it. See? I think it gives you a very good idea of what you want for yeah. your kitchen. So if you don't like this, I just press uh, delete, delete. Hey! Delete. You, you finished your kitchen already, right? No, but I just want to look at it. No. It's so nice. Okay, it's my turn to show people mine. Fine. So I designed the wardrobe area yeah. and the shower area. Okay, we feel that uh, our shower area is too small. Is it? Yeah. Too small, I think right? currently the most like not chill part of our house is our wardrobe, wardrobe area. area. Although the concept is very good with the washing machine right outside the toilet, but I think we can change the proportions a bit. Mm. Okay, yeah. so this is the entrance. On the right is a big mirror. Yeah, I try and see whether you can see or not. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay, and a mirror. And then this is the window area. Okay. The then, window that we currently have, but we want to change it to yeah. like black frames. So this is the track light. Uh, we d I decided to put a track light here, and then uh, Rachel said the wardrobe area we want to do like what is this modular pole system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, currently our uh wardrobe the cupboards are like concealed mm. the regular cabinets mm. because of our cats. But if let's say we can do it again, maybe we can try something with like this exposed kind of pipe system. I don't know. What yeah, it's they say this one like uh, you buy already, next time you move house or you can still like, dismantle and bring everything over. Yeah, and you can change the layout to suit your <coughs> preference or the amount of clothes that you have. Yep. Then uh, there's a little platform here to, uh, for, the for, for the cat to see what's outside. Lah. And then uh, I think I extended this like a glass partition yeah. out so that. Um, the sink area. We want the toilet to be bigger. Yeah, we want the toilet to be bigger. So this is how the toilet looks like. Currently, it's only like this. Yeah, currently the the, there's the a door house. here yeah. in between here. There's a door here, but uh, if we extend out, then this can be a wet area also. Yeah. And then, uh, same lah. The washing machine will be below here. Mm -hmm. And then when you before you shower, you can throw all your laundry back here. And then uh, here you can put more stuff which I haven't designed. And then the toilet bowl will be here, followed by the toilet roll. And then the shower area. So the tiles, I think we changed. You, if you notice our house theme, now it's brown and white. But yeah. what we have in mind now is like 
black they're trying to explore black and white yeah, something more like cool and matured yeah. looking kind. Yeah, yeah. quite nice oh. actually they have like a lot of selections of sinks and uh, mirrors mm. all sorts of stuff you'll be very very surprised yep and you see the, the details is like whoa. At least you have a better idea of what kind of appliances or furniture you need to buy yeah. in terms of the shape and the aesthetics and But you can tell your ID, okay, um for my shower area I want to do it yeah. like this. Yeah. Instead of a straight line. Instead of like one straight line and stuff like that. Yeah. And then what kind of tiles uh, do you have in mind before you you go because if you go tile shopping uh, well, It's very confusing. There are too right? many tiles to choose really. When we went there that time, we were like just telling our ID, ah, Nishen la, Nishen la, I don't know. It's yeah. like a lot until we're like headache, you know. Um, we haven't added the rest yet. So this is the bedroom area. You Fine see the wall Fine. is still uh, plain. So we'll finish the whole thing and then um, Maybe yeah, I we'll show you guys. Story. Yeah, <laughs> we'll show you guys how, how it looks like. I'll definitely change all the windows to like black frames if I can. Mm. When we save enough money. Yep. We still kept the double dollar. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go try out the app if you have time. I think it's really fun and you get like this feel like, oh my god, I'm like totally an ID, that kind of thing. <laughs> and I think it will really give you a better idea of what you want for your house. Thank you for watching and, and we'll I'll see you guys, guys next time. time. Bye! Bye.